Hello, and thank you for taking the time to watch this helpful resource on common problems when importing a CSV file. The import tool is a very convenient feature because it saves time by allowing mass uploads of listings and events. This tutorial will help solve the mistakes that people often make. First, clients will try to use the template from version 10.4, which does not work when applied to version 11. Second, clients modify the header and change the column orders. Do not change the headers or delete columns. You can simply leave the space blank, but do not delete it. The only fields that you have to fill out are the listing title and at least one listing category. All other fields you can leave blank if necessary. Third, a common mistake is trying to upload too many listings at one time. The import process works much faster and is more manageable when the listings are broken down into more manageable import loads. We recommend 2,000 listings or less per import. Four, another key to a successful import is to know the renewal date format. Our system uses month, day, year, not day, month, year. Five, if the listings contained in the file does not have the exact same location as the system's default, they will be refused by the importer and the line of those listings will be ignored from the temporary table. Six, if you intend to import images to listings or events, these will have to be done manually afterwards. If the import is done only with the postal zip code, the latitude and longitude does not get updated. So be sure to include latitude and longitude coordinates in case you want to display the listing location on a map. Eight, a final tip to successfully uploading your import. It is crucial to check the appropriate setting for the import. You need to upload all new categories, then the default check of all new categories set to be featured is the appropriate choice. However, if you wish to avoid having duplicate listings or to update listings, you need to check overwrite matching items. To update listings, you also need to make sure that said listings have DBID set on the field in the CSV file. There are more options and you can find an explanation of each of these settings below the settings box. We're here to help make sure you get off to a great start at eDirectory. Thank you for tuning in and be sure to continue searching for other helpful resources from our knowledge base.